Also new tonight, students at art institutes across the country are scrambling after hearing their schools are closing. This includes the institute right here in Hampton Roads. The closure takes effect at the end of the month. We're joined by 10 on your side's Raven Payne, who's been looking into this situation today. And Raven, you actually had a chance to speak with a student who's dealing with all of this. That's right. Justice Perez Sanders tells me this all came without notice. Her school closing for good. At just 16 years old, she was studying graphic design at the Art Institute of Virginia Beach. All of her hard work was just wiped away by one email. It is real. I'm out of a college. Students across the country were left scrambling Friday. The Art Institute announced it would be closing their doors permanently on September 30th. One of those students was 16-year-old Justice Perez Sanders, a graphic design student. She started school at the college when she was just 15. She says when they first got the email, they thought it was fake until they started making some calls. And I tried calling my financial line disconnected. Then we tried calling a lot of other people who I knew there line disconnected. The college said the COVID-19 pandemic negatively impacted hands-on teaching and equipment intensive programs. Justice tells me she doesn't buy that, having talked with her advisor about spring semester classes two weeks ago. She even said, I got you more in-person classes. We got this all covered. Her mom, Sarah, says this is heartbreaking after seeing how hard her daughter worked to get accepted into the school. It's almost like a sense of grief. She is really, really I've always been goal driven. And to see that now her school has been taken away. Her scholarship is gone. A national scholarship that paid for half of her tuition that she tells me was over $100,000. In the email, the institute said students would still be able to receive their transcripts to transfer to another school. However, Justice says they ran into a roadblock. They shut everything down immediately. They shut down the phone lines first, and then they started shutting down all the online stuff. I tried calling the campus president for a statement, but all I got was a voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for AIA president. And Justice and her family tells me their next step will be going to the school directly for answers. They say after that, they just don't know what they're going to do. Raven Payne, 10 on your side.